Hi, Brock here with Procore Power Equipment. Uh, today we're going to walk around the Toro Z-Master 2000 series. This is the new 2000 series, which replaced one previous to it. Very similar mower, but this one has some updates to it. A couple things that kind of uh, maybe cheapened up a little bit, but definitely overall uh, have improved on. We're just going to walk around, point out those differences there, and talk about some of the features it has. All right, first up, this thing has this massive I-beam constructed steel front uh, axle on it. This thing is incredibly strong, like probably way overbuilt, but it's not going anywhere and I like that. Just super, super thick metal and yeah, a, a little overkill maybe. Sitting on the mower, this mower actually feels really comfortable. Um, a couple things right off the bat that I really like that they've changed is your foot pedal. This is a nice bar now. Um, I like that, it feels really nice. You have a lot of control. You're not, your foot's not slipping off of there. It's kind of textured. I like that. <clears throat> this has an auto transport mode lock. So if that deck is all the way down and you push this guy up, it will automatically lock it into place. I'm gonna drop it down, just like that. So nice, smooth, easy operation there. And it, it is a pretty lightweight feel when you're sitting in this position um, on your foot. I like that. Next up, you have the MyRide suspension. So you can see the shock here in the front, and then you have two around the back, and they're adjustable. This whole platform that I'm sitting on here will move. You kind of see this in the video. Um, it kind of moves up and down as you run over bumps. That offers a really smooth, nice ride, uh, especially if you're on bumpier properties or you know transporting between one, one lawn and the next if you were a commercial cutter. So it's a nice ride to it. I like that. The seat is pretty comfortable. It does not have armrest. I don't like that feature on it. I wish they did add them, uh, which I know that is, a, is something you can buy after the, the fact and put them on. Uh, but I do think they should have included that. If you have your handles closed here, it's a pretty comfortable feel. I think they could have a little bit more room here between my, my leg and the handles, maybe extend these guys up a little bit. Um, but overall, as far as you know, maneuvering around things, especially tight areas, I kind of like the feel. It's got a nice, uh, nice control feel to it. Your parking brake is over here on the left-hand side, smooth up and down. Really, all the controls on this mower are easy to reach and, and kind of feel nice when you're using them. You know, down to the you know, parking brake, your drive handles, and then over here with the uh, engine controls. So you throttle, choke, uh, light switch. That's something else on the front. You saw they have an LED light bar, a PTO switch on it, ignition switch. Uh, just nice nice things like that. This one also comes with a USB charger. You got two little charging spots in there You've got a little phone holder here on the side. I like this this option It fits my phone in there really well it has a nice secure feel It's not going to bounce out of there easily as it's tapered down. It just fits well So that's a nice bright headlight on there. I like that feature. Something else I thought of here while sitting up here, this mower fits me really well, but if I was a larger operator or a smaller operator, that might not fit me quite as well. Um, Toro is really good at designing their mowers to kind of fit all, all size operators. Um, so this can be adjusted. You can adjust these handles here, forward and back um, and down if you need to. And then your seat also has a slide back and then all the way up here. Um, so kind of a nice, customizable uh, ride to it there as far as you know where everything sits then if you're sitting up here just a nice feel over here on the left hand side you have a nice formed cup holder i like that this is actually one of the first i've seen from toro that um, are, are actually formed in here they, they fit a little tighter i like that I have a little bit of storage here on this side it feels right here this one has a nice large mouth there to fill up i like that your tank kind of sits underneath your seat. Back here we have the Kawasaki FX730 engine. This engine has been around for a lot of years. It's been on a lot of different Toro mowers and a lot of other mowers on the market. This engine does super well with this size deck. This is 60 inch. This mower also comes in a 52 inch. Plenty of engine for both decks. Um, and if you come down here, I'm going to show you the hitch here on the back. So they changed this. This is the first of the, this kind that I've seen from Toro got a uh, receiver style hitch coming really handy for people that like to tow a lot um, and then further down we're going to look at the hydros on this mower this has the hydro gear zt 3400s uh, in between that residential and commercial um, it could use a little bit larger hydros in it but overall not a bad pairing with with this machine i love this big oversized look here on the fenders uh, they did a great job here with the steel tubular uh, frame around it kind of protects that outer side 
Um, this is also a fresh design, something they've never done before with the fenders, just the way they've kind of molded them here. It's got a really sleek look. I like that. Hope they start making some of the other mowers with a more updated look like this. The 2000 series, is, this isn't new to this mower, but the uh, Voodoo Track tires, I love these tires. They've got a little bit more traction than your standard turf tire, but they still aren't gonna tear up your yard like a lot if you're not, you, know, you have to be a little bit careful, but overall this is a great tire uh, for this mower. It's got a lot of traction to it. Uh, warranty is four years or 1,000 hours. So they're gonna cover you for that four years or 1,000, which is great. So don't forget to go check out the comparison video where I compare this 2000 series to the previous 2000 series. We kind of look at the differences between the two mowers. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, subscribe to our channel. Uh, and if you're interested in a Toro mower, please give us a call or visit our website. We're happy to help you.